You are watching UNICEF Television. This is Maban County in South Sudan, home to over 100,000 refugees fleeing from the constant bombing of their homes in the Blue Nile state in Sudan. Under these circumstances, children are most at risk. This is why, with UNHCR as the lead agency, UNICEF and its partners are supporting a variety of interventions. At the hospital in Bunj County, Dr. Evan Attar is working with UNICEF's partners, Samaritan's Purse, to save the lives of hundreds of children with severe malnutrition. So, this child was brought in severely malnourished in acute stage, which is Kwachako, and uh, the signs, the, the, the the signs of Kwachako is actually, you will see the edema, lower limb, the abdomen is full of water, and all this, the face is perfect. This is a, a, an acute situation and a dangerous situation for the children. So we bring them here to stabilize them. UNICEF's partner, IMC, is providing vaccinations and medication to safeguard these children and their families from disease. We've been providing uh, primary health care services, uh, basic vaccines. Uh, we're vaccinating children uh, six months to 15 years for measles. We're vaccinating women of childbirthing age for tetanus. And we're also providing oral polio, polio BD, TB. Caring for the child's physical well-being is not the only concern. By funding schools, UNICEF ensures that they are not only able to get an education, but to continue their social development and to cope with the trauma. Marta works with our partner organization, Intersource, to provide these child-friendly spaces where children can play and learn. The first week we had already 400 children coming to school and now we reached today 1,000. UNICEF is providing us with recreational material and school material. And we hope in a few weeks to cover 2,000 children in this area. The work being done in Maban is saving lives every day, but the sheer volume of vulnerable children in the camps means that even more support will be needed. Children fleeing the violence in Sudan have faced immense stress and we are seeing the consequences of it. It's extremely important that we all come together and put forward our best effort to make sure that they get the most basic of services that they are in need of. We have to make sure that children have access to healthcare, to education, to a protective environment so that we can enable them to not just survive but to thrive in a situation that is so challenging. And for that, we need the funding. It's essential. This is Shalin Poppet reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org, Unite for Children.